There are many philosophical theories on definitions of aesthetics and how they translate into practical use. However, for the sake of today's discussion, we'll use a simplified definition of aesthetics, which is the philosophical study of beauty and taste. Let's begin by asking the most basic question. What is considered beautiful? By definition, it means pleasing to the senses or mind, and is completely subjected to an individual's own preferences built on the years of experiences unique to them. Many associate beauty with the tendency towards realism and a more natural look, which is closer to the ancient definition of aesthetics. However, it is clear that anime is not an art form that prioritizes photorealistic representation. We have seen that it is embracing an almost metamorphic image, with all the, the, the rejection of the physical world and its laws of space and motion. And this provides a method for exploring a world of possibilities that overcome the confines of the live-action cinematic experience. Anime is the only medium that has the ability to break all limitations of camera-generated imagery and use suspension of disbelief to its advantage to tell its stories. There are many different aesthetics in anime. We'll now explore three uh, most commonly talked about from what I've seen. Number one is 90s aesthetics, number two, cyberpunk, and number three, sakuga. Let's start with the 90s aesthetic. The 90s were the height of era of traditional cell animation. TV anime regularly began to integrate upper-level animation techniques that were previously restricted to feature films and short OVAs, as the technology became easier to use, less expensive, and more widely available. This led to certain stylistic elements becoming the norm for the industry. An example of this that I'm sure a lot of people will notice if they watch bigger budget 90s anime is a distinctive use of color shading and sharp black shadows. Anime is known to be darker in terms of themes and actual events that occur in it than what we'd usually see in Western animation. And this is even more prominent with uh, the 80s and 90s anime. This means that serious themes like depression or suicidal thoughts are to be represented more accurately in anime, which resonates with people going through similar struggles. People are more likely to empathize with screenshots and clips from stories that talk about these issues so openly. Moreover, even when events from these screenshots aren't completely in line with the person's interpretations of it, they are likely to accept it at face value due to confirmation bias and our general tendency to project and inject ourselves into these stories due to the escapist nature of anime. The second aesthetic we'll talk about is cyberpunk. Cyberpunk as a genre includes a wide variety of visual aesthetics, but is recognized by its encompassing theme of quote-unquote high-tech lowlife that started to gain its prominence in the 80s. Everybody recognizes when they see it, but no two people are guaranteed to agree on what it means to be cyberpunk. Some people emphasize the cyber element, some emphasize the punk part. Others argue that the themes of cyberpunk run no deeper than the aesthetics. Regardless, there is usually a sense of emptiness and or hopelessness, despite advances in technology that were supposed to help society. People are detached from one another despite advances in social networking technology. Cyberpunk aesthetic usually consists of dominantly neutral colors, dark shades, black and gray, monochromatic, and of course, cybernetic implants or prosthetics. Now let's talk about Sakuga. Although not the same type of aesthetic as the other two, Sakuga is an aesthetically pleasing experience unique to animation. Sakuga means working drawing or just animation in Japanese, but it has been used for a while by enthusiasts overseas to refer to impressive motion. Space Dandy, Gurren Lagann, and One Punch Man are some of the first examples that come to mind. It is often brought up when talking about scenes with sudden and sharp increases in animation quality. Any viewer acquainted enough with anime is probably aware of the somewhat economic approach most productions take. Anyone who has watched a long-running anime must be aware that their production values tend to be 
anything but consistent, as animating a show airing weekly or for years is a huge endeavor. Corners are cut, outsourcing becomes an even bigger factor, and a staff rotation is put in place to make the project sustainable. Yet, when it reaches a climactic moment, they seem to go all out. Series that usually have to make do with unimpressive visuals have some of the most incredible highlights in the whole industry, and that's what makes them so impressive and that much more powerful. All in all, there's no uniform definition of aesthetics, due to many different elements and factors that go into defining one's taste and perception of beauty. However, there are certainly some components and attributes that tend to resonate with the audience more so than others, seeing as how some of the aesthetics we mentioned today have strong followings to this day and have held their grounds over several decades, which is definitely something for us to notice creatives, especially for those who wish to pursue visual storytelling.